I'm Ray Bork, and this is the Celebrity Spotlight Series. On this episode of the Celebrity Spotlight Series, we take you to the New England Sports Center in Marlboro, Mass. It's home to the North American Fall Championships, one of the biggest youth hockey tournaments in the United States. Every autumn, hockey returns to New England, but nowhere does it come back bigger than at the New England Sports Center in Marlboro, Massachusetts. Every year on the Black Friday after Thanksgiving, more than 80 youth hockey teams from across the eastern U.S. and Canada descend on the area for the annual North American Fall Championships. Fall Championship has been a tournament that we've had here since the building has opened. Uh, everybody knows it's so long with Black Friday, so we get a lot of Canadian teams that have come down not only for the hockey and the shopping and whatnot. It really is a fun event. You have all these teams coming uh, from all over New England and from Canada. You know, all, in, all the New England teams want to play the Canadian teams. They're the best in the world. You know, so when they come to town, there's a little, little bit of an extra buzz around. The New England Sports Center is the only facility in the Northeast that could handle this massive tournament. Six rinks, free parking, a full pro shop, food service, even a video game arcade, all hopping with high-level hockey from 6 a.m. on Friday morning through Sunday night. Well, I've been up here seven, eight years. It's very well run, very well organized. It's one of the best tournaments I've, I've been to as far as the organization, the setup, the atmosphere. Something to look forward to. There's good competition down here. There's no doubt about it. Um, and secondly, it's really good for the kids because it gets them outside what I would call, say, their comfort zone. It gets them in a new area. It's very good experience for them and their parents. But it's not all about hockey, especially on the weekend after Thanksgiving. Players and their families have discovered there's a lot going on in Marlboro and the Metro West area. Lots of shopping. <laughs> um, lots of shopping. The kids have been going swimming. Um, and then we're going to be doing some sightseeing too. They're seeing that we have um, a retail mecca that is really unparalleled. We have shopping in Metro West area that you don't find anywhere outside of Boston. High-end stores that you don't find anywhere else, just the volume of stores. Right down the road from the ring, we have several big boxes like a Target. We also have the mall with a movie theater, several restaurants, a food court, and shops. So that, again, in between, if the family wants to catch the movie or maybe mom and dad want to go out for the evening, there are restaurants here. Um, for everybody to enjoy. This tournament really helps, first of all, highlight the fact that Metro West is a really friendly place for families to come, you know, whether it's coming here to, to the rink, whether it's going to Solomon Pond Mall, um, the restaurants in the area, is it, is it highlights that this is really a destination area for families. Up next, we'll meet some of the teams playing in the tournament. See just how far some of them came to compete when the Celebrity Spotlight Series continues right after this. The Celebrity Spotlight Series is brought to you by the Massachusetts Office of Travel and Tourism, Solomon Pond Mall, located just five minutes from New England Sports Center, Metro West Tourism and Visitors Bureau, 
McCormick Kitchens and Baths, focusing on the design of custom kitchens, baths, and more. NedRaffle.org, take a chance for charity. And New England Sports Center, with six rinks all under one roof. Have you ever moved yourself before? Yes. 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 Yes, I have. Yes, recently. How did it go? I almost killed my best friend with an armoire. Last year, I was moving a couch up the stairs right when that earthquake hit. And I had to do about four trips because the truck bed could only hold so much. It was definitely very frustrating, and it stinks moving up four flights of stairs. It's no fun. I'd much rather have somebody move me. Don't go it alone. Call DN Van Lines, 1-800-51-MOVER. Professional Indoor Lacrosse is coming to Massachusetts. The action begins this January at the New England Sports Center in Marlboro, Mass. Tickets are on sale now to see the Boston Rockhoppers compete in the North American Lacrosse League against the best players in the world. Nowhere else can you get as close to the action as this season in Marlboro. My name is Joe Andrusi, three-time Super Bowl champion and president of the Joe Andrusi Foundation. I have my Rockhoppers tickets. Get yours today at bostonrockhoppers.com. Want to have a private meet and greet with Milan Lucic? How about a dinner with Rob Gronkowski? Or watch a Bruins game in a private suite with Ray Borg? These are just a few of the incredible prizes you can win at netraffle.org. Log on to netraffle.org, and for as little as $10, you can have a chance to win all kinds of once-in-a-lifetime prizes or experiences. When you buy tickets, you'll be helping the Celebrities for Charity Foundation and the hundreds of organizations it supports. Go to netraffle.org and win. Hi. This is Milan Lucic inviting you to join my team at NMTW Community Credit Union. If you want to know more about scoring goals, hitting hard, or making plays, let's talk. If you want to know more about mortgages, car loans, or even commercial loans, you need to stop by my credit union, NMTW Community Credit Union. Decorators are back. I'm about to have a breakdown. And so are their egos. Big mistake. He's an idiot and he's fired. Who wouldn't love a job where you get to spend other people's money? Constantly. This what? is $30,000. Oh! 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 Million Dollar Decorators, all new every Tuesday at 10, 9 Central. Only by Bravo. Sponsored locally by Stressless. Find your local retailer at Eckerness.com. Our clients absolutely expect a high level of performance and a high level of results. We filed a complaint in the Lawrence Superior Court, seek damages. We are not about to let our clients down under any circumstances. These are long-lasting and ongoing injuries. Under any circumstances. Pursuing that in a very aggressive manner. For over 25 years, helping people who are injured through no fault of their own get what they deserve is something that I absolutely believe is worth fighting for. Welcome back to the 2012 North American Fall Championships Youth Hockey Tournament in Marlboro, Massachusetts. We try to come to the tournaments to bring the team together. Uh, it was a four-hour trip, but we had a great, uh, great time when we're up here. It's a big uh, togetherness, and we all have the parents get along great, and the kids. It's a bonding experience for all the kids. Get over there, Chris. There's, geez, competition from Pennsylvania, teams from Pennsylvania, New York, Connecticut, Maine, Rhode Island. I mean, they're coming from everywhere because they find that this place here is kind of like a big cluster uh, of, of hockey. Okay, and you do not stop. You do not ever stop. Everybody plays hard, but it's great because there's there's space between the games and the teams co-mingle here playing around and playing a little bit of knee hockey or in the arcade. So uh, good to meet some new kids and play some different competition and really exhibit some great sport, sportsmanship, even though everybody's trying to win when they're on the ice.
There are teams from all over the northeastern U.S. here, but there is also a very strong contingent from our hockey mad neighbor to the north, Canada. Hi. I'm Alex and just packed my bag before I go to Wild Wild for a hockey tournament. So we've got here about uh, 13 kids, two goalies, so 15 players in total. Um, pretty much all the kids are from Atlantic Canada, but we are fortunate enough we have three kids from the U.S. as well. So it's great for the kids. They're going to get to meet kids from their own region and they get to meet kids from the U.S. So it's a really good exposure. The kids will do some bonding. So it's going to be a great weekend for the kids, all in all, because that's really what it's about. Kevin Johnson and his 2004 Express team are fairly typical of the teams coming to this tournament. They love hockey and they don't mind traveling to play. Hi, I'm Alex. We're just at the Canadian border. We're just leaving from the Canadian border to USA. It's about uh, two hours uh, close to get to the border for most, and once you're across the border, then it's about a six-hour to five-hour commute to get us down here. So all in all, it, it's not that bad. I mean, there's a two-hour two piece of the drive that's pretty hard driving, but the kids are actually, you'd be surprised how used to it they are. Here we are. And when the 2004 Express and the thousands of others like them arrive in the area, they are welcomed with open arms. The planning for it is, you know, you work with the hotels, you work with the restaurants. Our planning usually starts somewhere a year in advance, working with the hotels, make sure they, one, know what we're doing. Marlboro has the second most hotel rooms to Boston in Massachusetts. Well, you better find a hotel that's got a pool and a uh, uh, place where the kids can get out there and uh, burn some energy. You know, uh, a lot of times they'll play floor hockey or, or knee hockey or something like that. And, you know, there's lots of food and lots of things to do in the area as well. So, Well, you know, today we had a little bit of a team building day. We had breakfast together, did some outside activities together. Uh, sometimes I'll have little pizza parties or go to the movies or, you know, take them to the mall, play laser tag, something of that nature. So uh, there's always something to do. Oh, I can use that. It's our own little Disney World. You know, the, 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 the business here on, on the weekends is uh, primarily sports related, but, but the New England Sports Center re represents a huge part of that um, here, here in Marlboro for the hotels, the restaurants, the mall, the gas station, etc. There's a big economic uh, impact from the New England Sports Center. I am thrilled when I see hockey players come down here. The New England Sports Center has, has been amazing. You know, I have seen their business grow, and our business has grown with them. But while there is plenty to do off the ice, for teams like the 2004 Express, the ultimate focus is hockey. And there's plenty of that, with every team getting at least four games. It's our game to win or lose. Go out and outwork them and beat them. Do you understand? Look at me. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three. Explodes. Here we go. That'll go. That's how you play the game. Good shot. Skate, Tom! Skate! You got him! Good shot! Skate and go! It's so hard. That happened. If you hack again, I'm going to sit you. Do you understand? Eyes the corner! Come! Two. But every time we made one, you never made the same one. You passed the puck good, you shot the puck good, and you back check hard. All right? So be proud of yourselves. Great day. Have some fun today. Tomorrow morning we play, so get to bed. You know what time? It's 8.30. I'd like you guys to be ready for bed, relaxing and in bed, okay? We play at 9 o'clock in the morning, right? Are you going to be ready for tomorrow? Yeah! All right. Good job, boys. Up next, we'll take a look behind the scenes at just what it takes to make this massive tournament run smoothly when the Celebrity Spotlight Series continues. The Festival Indoor Lacrosse is coming to Massachusetts. The action begins this January at the New England Sports Center in Marlboro, Mass. Tickets are on sale now to see the Boston Rock Hoppers compete in the North American Lacrosse League 
against the best players in the world. Nowhere else can you get as close to the action as this season in Marlboro. My name is Joe Andrewsy, three-time Super Bowl champion and president of the Joe Andrewsy Foundation. I have my Rock Hoppers tickets. Get yours today at bostonrockhoppers.com. Timeless designs, quality craftsmanship, dedicated customer service. McCormick Kitchens will give your home a classic elegance. Building and remodeling homes for over 20 years now. Owner Frank McCormick and his expert staff know how to make your kitchen work for you. They'll take care of the entire process so you can concentrate on what's most important. McCormick Kitchens, Route 1 South in Saugus. During the Hyundai Holiday Sales Event, you'll get $1,500 holiday bonus cash on every new Sonata, but only at your local Hyundai dealer. Thank you, America, for making Mighty Bite one of the best-selling lures on the market today. And now the complete Mighty Bite fishing kit is yours for only $19.95. You get 10 Mighty Bites in time-tested colors and sizes with all of the hooks and hardware you need to land the lunkers. But wait, call now and get the Mighty Bite Big Bass Bonus Kit. It's a $20 value, but it's yours free, plus processing and handling. Mighty Bite hand five. Woo! Oh, yeah. Don't let this one get away. Reel in the Mighty Bite now. Here's how to order. Sunday on Nesson. The UNH Wildcats face a young Boston College team who must prove this is more than just a rebuilding year for the Eagles. UNH at Boston College. Sunday at 1. A presentation of Nesson University. Brought to you by Hess and Hess Express. This is Nesson. seen the incredible dedication of the youth hockey players and their families here at the fall championships. Now let's take a look behind the scenes and see what it takes to run such a massive tournament. If you're playing in the North American Fall Championships, things are pretty simple. You get your schedule, you show up, you play. But if you're working at the New England Sports Center, things are slightly more complicated. Here we go, fellas. Good luck. If you think about it, you can play 15 games a day per rink. So if you take six rinks, 15 games, 90, that's 90 games a day, 180 referees, 90, 90 timekeepers, you know, uh, 180 locker room assignments. Locker room number nine. All right. Here you go. I opened up at 6.30. Uh, I was on the machine until about 1.30, just solid. They were just handing me skates, doing skates. It is like a roll of dominoes. Everything has to fall into place. And if one thing is off, then it's, it, can be, it can be chaos. But um, pretty much, it runs pretty smoothly. It's very regimented. Everybody has a clear, concise schedule. They've gotten their schedules well in advance. They walk in, they know what locker rooms to go to. It's all out front on the electronic reader board. The people that we work at the desk are pretty well seasoned. They know the area, they know how to answer the questions. They know to help when they're requested to help and things like that. That preparation helps with the tournament's daunting logistics. But ultimately, there are two main reasons things are run so smoothly here. Great employees and superior technology. They're, they all love what's going on here. They love to be part of it, and they know what they're doing in their particular area, and it, it really helps them to, to do that. And we've been able to compartmentalize or put together computer programs that have been self-generated, you know, for referee assignments that have been extremely helpful that don't allow us to book more than two referees per game, a timekeeper. If the game moves two minutes, it automatically emails people. The New England Sports Center is, in fact, completely automated, which means the temperatures are perfect, the schedules are accurate, and the ice is always cleaned on time. The young hockey players in this tournament probably take these things for granted, but hassle-free operations are most definitely appreciated by parents and coaches. 
Yeah, the facility's great. Um, you know, they do a good job running it. Uh, you know, having that many teams all in one place, it, it can be chaos. Uh, but they do, a, you know, they do a fantastic job running it. Um, you know, hotel accommodations, attractions around you, the, the plenty of stuff for the kids to do. Um, but, it, it, but it's very nice, great facility. You know, we travel all over the country, up to Canada, and there's very, very few places that can put on a, a tournament like this with six rinks under one roof, so we're not driving all over the place. Uh, the location compared to Boston is outstanding. When the tournament's over, people will remember the goals and saves, the wins and losses, but it's the hard work behind the scenes that makes all of that possible. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. You know, there's teams from New York and Canada and all over the place, and it's it's fun to interact with the parents and the kids, and, uh, and we're always so busy here. Uh, they come in, and it's great. I like it. Up next on the Celebrity Spotlight series, there's lots more youth hockey action. Stay with us. Put a smile on your face at the Horseshoe Pub in Hudson. Offering 80 taps, it's the biggest beer selection in central Massachusetts. Chill out at the bar or chow down in the dining room. Affordable pub food done right. House-made potato chips, half-pound burgers, mac and cheese served in the skillet, pasta, sandwiches, salads, and the famous fried dough sundae. Horseshoe Pub and Restaurant, 29 South Street, Hudson, Mass. Good food, good beer, and always good luck. Horseshoepub.com. Want to have a private meet and greet with Milan Lucic? How about a dinner with Rob Gronkowski? Or watch a Bruins game in a private suite with Ray Bork? These are just a few of the incredible prizes you can win at netraffle.org. Log on to netraffle.org, and for as little as $10, you can have a chance to win all kinds of once-in-a-lifetime prizes or experiences. When you buy tickets, you'll be helping the Celebrities for Charity Foundation and the hundreds of organizations it supports. Go to netraffle.org and win. Attention, if you have a hip replacement, listen carefully. If you have a Depew or any other brand of metal-on-metal metal hip replacement and it's been removed or it's causing you problems, call the Goldwater Law Firm right now. I'm attorney Bob Goldwater. Certain hip implants can fail, causing you severe pain. Sometimes the hip implants need to be replaced entirely. Call us right now. You may be entitled to compensation. If you or a loved one is the victim of a defective hip implant, you may be entitled to financial compensation for your replacement, your pain and suffering, and your medical expenses. Call us right now for a free legal consultation. We won't charge you anything unless we win your case. If you or a loved one has had a Depew hip replacement or any other brand of metal-on-metal metal hip replacement, call the Goldwater Law Firm right now. Call 800-647-6868. That's 800-647-6868. 800-647-6868. Over 40 alumni signed to the NHL. Like and 12 more players drafted in just the last year. Four out of the last five NCAA national champions. And eight championship teams since 1984. They just keep coming back. The passion, the pride, the best of college hockey is Hockey East. And the home of Hockey East is Nesson. A presentation of Nesson University brought to you by Hess and Hess Express. Into the zone, control it, set the power play up, and let's move it around and work the shot. Good battle going on here. It's a good battle up and down the ice. Welcome back to the 2012 North American Fall Championships Youth Hockey Tournament in Marlboro, Massachusetts. 
It's the third and final day of the tournament, which means it's time for each of the hotly contested divisions to crown a champion. What happens is you put the teams into one division, four teams, they all play three games. You rank the teams, they have semifinals and finals, and you know, on Sunday they have the semifinal and final game, and that's it. Overtime in the championship game, baby. Overtime. So after a fun-filled holiday weekend of shopping, dining, sightseeing, and, oh yes, lots of hockey, it's time to pack up and head home. But win or lose on the ice, everyone seems to be leaving with new friends and good memories. It is about two things. It's about, you know, yes, playing hockey, but it's about making lifelong friends. And a lot of these kids will remember these kids. They exchanged emails, things like that. So they'll, you know, stay in touch all winter. It's a great tournament for the kids. A lot of competition. The kids had a blast. A lot of facilities here. Uh, the kids can, you know, get sweatshirts and uh, see all the game scores and watch other games. So it was, it was excellent. It's a great tournament. We've done it two, two other years. Um, so the kids will be back. They enjoy it. I think events like this hockey tournament are critically important. I think, first of all, it's wonderful that the sports complex is here in Metro West and bring so many, not only folks for the tournament itself, but their families and their extended families. Sometimes the business of professional sports can make us forget about the real spirit of the game. Well, anyone feeling a little cynical should spend some time at the North American Fall Championships, where it's easy to see that the game of hockey is alive and well. So after three days and over 175 hockey games, the North American Fall Championships come to a close. An amazing tournament with some truly amazing hockey. But thanks for joining us. I'm Ray Bork, and we'll see you next time on the Celebrity Spotlight Series.
The Celebrity Spotlight Series is brought to you by the Massachusetts Office of Travel and Tourism. Solomon Pond Mall, located just five minutes from New England Sports Center. Metro West Tourism and Visitors Bureau. McCormick Kitchens and Baths, focusing on the design of custom kitchens, baths, and more. NedRaffle.org, take a chance for charity. And New England Sports Center, with six rinks all under one.